The mood was tense at Parliament as members of Parliament streamed in one by one amidst tight security ahead of the anticipated age limit motion that was to be tabled by Gala East Member of Parliament, Rafael Majesi. The Member of Parliament for Nakawa, Michael Kabazguruka, was seen supported by a wheelchair to be part of what many described as a historical debate. At about 10 minutes to 2 p.m., the bell rang for legislators to take seats in the chambers. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, entered the chambers that were filled to capacity. Olanya first explained to the members the reason why the anticipated age limit motion was not among those to be discussed. He then called on the House to debate following the order paper. Among them were statements by ministers on the sale of plots of land in Nama Ave Industrial Park by private individuals, a report on the disease attack on the eucalyptus plantations in Chenjojo and neighboring districts, among other issues. But the leader of opposition in parliament, Winfred Kiza, rose to give a statement on the current situation that has put fellow legislators under fear. If we may assume that it was done for purposes of the security of members of parliament, I would imagine that it would have been possibly very necessary that the administration of parliament communicates to MPs high enough. Honorable colleagues, she wanted government to explain why Parliament was under siege. Kiza said that the siege has affected freedom of legislators and could cause instability around Kampala and beyond. The students of Makere could not find space. Not only at the university, but also in their hostels where they reside. I'm told why it's already clear. The students of Jambo, the counselors of Drum and sued after the Prime Minister Dr. Hakana Rugunda rose to explain why security has to beef up. It is absolutely necessary that the security organs and security forces must be on a Unsatisfied with the explanation, members from the opposition shouted. The chaos prompted the parliament sergeant at arms to protect the speaker's mess. Aru County MP Odonga Oto asked the Koboko Municipality MP Evelyn Anite to apologize to the House for the threatening statements and distributing signatures to the media for those she claimed were supporting the age limit removal. Anita's attempts to defend herself were futile as Deputy Speaker denied her chance. The Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya then adjourned the sitting. So, since there are two big problems which I've just enumerated, members are not willing to sit, and the Speaker not also willing to sit, members who don't want to sit. This house is adjourned to the chair. This attracted world celebrations from opposition legislators as they marched out singing the national anthem, chanting war songs, and whistling defining.
get a East member of parliament to file emergency. He was today expected to seek leave of parliament. On to prepare and table the motion, seeking to scrap Article 102B of the Constitution, which restricts the presidential age between 35 and 75 years. Bernard Iga, UBC TV, at Parliament.